Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain Yondu in about a minute. Yondu's first appearance was in Marvel Super Heroes number 18 in January of 1969, and he was created by Arnold Drake and Gene Cullen. He was born in the 31st century in an alternate future on Century 4 in the Alpha Centauri system. Century 4 was the first planet outside of the Earth's solar system colonized by humans. The natives were less civilized than the humans, and they were easily swayed into peaceful relations. One tribe, however, sought to retain its heritage and maintain its culture away from foreign influence. They were the Zatoan tribe, and this is the tribe that Yandu is from. A physical specimen amongst his people, Yandu Udanta was a hunter for his tribe. He met the wandering Vance Astro, who had been in suspended animation for centuries right before their star system was invaded by another species, the Badoon. Vance and Yandu escaped on Vance's ship, but it was outdated and far inferior to the Badoon ships, which utilized the latest star drive technology, and they were easily overtaken. The Badoon were curious about the ancient ship, and took the two escapees prisoner rather than killing them while on their way to Earth to conquer the human homeworld. Yondu and Vance were joined by Charlie-27 and Martin X, and together with several time-traveling heroes from our time, they purged the Badoon from Earth, forming the original Guardians of the Galaxy. Yondu's race is stronger and in better condition than humans, and he himself is a prime specimen amongst his people, enabling him to perform amazing physical feats undreamt of by humans. He can lift approximately 400 pounds. He is a natural empath, and is capable of understanding primitive peoples, calming animals, and even finding certain plants on foreign planets. His native language is based on grunts, clicks, and whistles, and he himself is capable of whistling in four octaves of sound. He has also mastered the English language, however, speaking the language for longer than a couple minutes causes great strain to his throat. He uses a bow and arrow made of a special, sound-sensitive metal, called Yaka, from his home planet. He carries 20 arrows on his person, and certain whistles can cause the arrows to change direction mid-flight. He cannot cause the arrows to increase or decrease speed with whistles, so they must still be fired from his bow, but his precision is unparalleled even amongst his people. And that's Yondu in about a minute.